Well, how much money was taken and who took it in the first place? Those are just a few of the questions at the center of a now closed investigation into more than $685,000 of money scammed out of Detroit Public Library. Well over a half a million dollars. According to authorities, the city was scammed by a fake email to make wire transfers over the course of a year, leaving the library without money the library needs. Grant Herms joins us now. So this has been investigated. The investigation now closed, but the money's still missing. Yeah, Devin Kimberly, we are talking about more than $400,000 still missing. Now, the inspector general whose investigation this was said that the city nor the library did anything wrong. They were simply the victims and yet another one of those online scams we hear so much about. Detroit's inspector general saying an investigation into hundreds of thousands of dollars that were scammed out of city coffers is now over and out of her hands. There is no evidence that any library employees or any city employees engaged in any official conduct that resulted in the fraudulent transfer. The issue stems from payments made in 2020 and 2021 from the office of Detroit's chief financial officer. The payments were requests to wire money to an account that appeared to come from an official Detroit Public Library email. But it was a scam. In all, the city sent $685,000 to scammers based somewhere in Malaysia. They were only able to recover $277,000, leaving more than $407,000 unaccounted for. It was a scam. So it's a fraudulent activity that was initiated and engaged by a third party. And tragically, the library and the city are both victims to this crime. In a statement, Detroit's OCFO saying in part, law enforcement has been involved but has not shared details of their activities with us. The library and the city both are victims in this matter. Local 4 did attempt to reach Detroit Public Library but did not receive a response back. Now the next question here is obviously how do you get all of that money back? Well, DPL says they want the city to pay it back to them because they were the ones that spent it in the first place to this scammer. The city says not so fast. We are both victims here. We also reached out to the FBI to see if there was an ongoing investigation. Devin, they said they could neither confirm nor deny any investigation into this case for Detroit Public Libraries. Back to you. Gray, we know the city does have a pretty robust cybersecurity policy. So, uh, you know, a fair question, right? How does how does something like this happen? Right. You look at this, all this money. You say, how does this happen? Well. The issue is these scams can often be very, very sophisticated, and yeah. all it takes is one person to make one mistake. We've seen this across the country from D.C. to Texas to California. It just goes to show that this can happen almost anywhere. Nobody, including the city of Detroit, apparently is immune from these things. That's exactly right. Yeah. All right, Grant.